really couldn't be in better hands. I, I switched with her. She worked the night shift? I was swamped, and she helped me, and then I, I told Ndugu to let her scrub in. She hadn't been on the road when she was. You have to stop that. Right, it drives from the no feelings. Okay, no, that's not what I meant. Look, you can't think like that with a guilt will eat you alive, okay? Trust me. Don't tell me what to think. You don't know what the hell happened. Neither do you. I'm just stating facts. Okay, you want to hear facts? Our friend is fighting for her life in there, and there's nothing we can do about it. I know that might not matter to you and your stone heart, but it matters to me. Let's dive into this intense scene. It's loaded with guilt, tension, and some raw emotions that will have you gripping your seat. So here's the deal. Simone, Jules, and Blue are trying to process everything that went down with Mika's accident, and it's clear no one is handling it the same way. Simone, always the optimist, starts off with this little nugget of hope saying, she really couldn't be in better hands. You know she's trying to reassure Jules and Blue, but Jules, she's not in the mood for reassurance. She drops this bomb, I switched with her, and you're just like, whoa, where's this going? Jules even got Ndugu to let Mika scrub in, and now she's stuck in this spiral of guilt, thinking if Mika hadn't been on the road that night, none of this would have happened. Like, you can feel the weight of her regret hanging in the air. Blue, though, isn't about to let her drown in it. He jumps in with, you have to stop that, but Jules isn't having it. She snaps back with some serious heat, throwing shade like, great advice from the no feelings, I think. Ouch, that one hit, didn't it? But Blue doesn't back down. He's like, look, you can't think like that or the guilt will eat you alive. Trust me. And that trust me part, you just know he's been there before. He's speaking from experience, but Jules isn't ready to hear it. She fires back, all sharp and defensive. Don't tell me what to think. You don't know what the hell happened. And honestly, you can feel her pain. It's raw, unfiltered, and coming straight from her heart. Blue claps back with this simple icy truth. Neither do you. I'm just stating facts. And man, that line lands hard. But Jules isn't done. She unloads, saying, okay, you wanna hear facts? Our friend is fighting for her life in there, and there's nothing we can do about it. And then she hits him with the dagger. I know that might not matter to you and your stone heart, but it matters to me. You know that right there? That's the moment where all the emotions in the room explode. Jules is carrying so much guilt, and Blue with his tough love approach, just isn't the person she wants to hear from right now. Simone? She's just sitting there watching this whole thing unfold like, what do I even say to this? This scene is a whole vibe, y'all. It's messy, emotional, and painfully human. Everyone's just trying to cope in their own way, but it's clear they're all breaking under the weight of what happened. What do you think about this scene? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Ibra Flix for more recaps like this one. See you in the next one.